Hi, this is Growing Your Business with Jeffrey Scott. I'm back to talk about motivation. They say internal, motiva internal motivation is always better than external motivation. I don't think that's true. There are times where competition is fierce and it's a great thing to have if you harness it. This July, I visited Fenway Park. We saw the Yankees and Red Sox play. It was a family reunion of sorts. My family drove in, they flew in. My wife got to see her first game ever at Fenway Park. Now, let me tell you, it's been difficult being a Red Sox fan growing up. Um, the Yankees always outsmart us, outplayed us. It was difficult until finally 2004, where the Red Sox played through the Yankees to win the World Series. Competition really drives your spirit. Who's driving your spirit? Who's your competition? I recently counseled a $30 million business owner that knows exactly who his competitors are. It drives him. He studies them. He looks for their flaws. Every morning, he hops out of bed. He jumps out of bed knowing who his com competition is and what he's got to do to beat them. And every night when he goes to bed, he can go to bed satisfied that he worked hard to improve his business. Now, some companies are in a bubble. Some bubbles can be good if they're a niche and you own that niche. Other bubbles are bad if you're clueless to what your competitors are doing and you're not externally benchmarking your business. We all need a larger purpose as human beings, something to drive us to really get us out of bed and keep us working when times get tough. If you don't have an external purpose as powerful as the competitive Yankee Red Sox spirit, you better find one.